Oh, it's cold, cold, cold. So cold, 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 cold. So, what are you gonna do with the air crane? I'm gonna use the energy to make an air converter. An air converter? My plan is to efficiently convert the air into matter, decreasing the overall amount of air. But for that, it's ideal to have the converter use energy similar to both air and matter. How is that energy different from air? Elementally separated air transitions into matter in stages and eventually becomes stable. I'm going to stop its transition between the two states and develop a converter formula. So it won't be air or matter? It's a state that's closer to matter than to air, but it's still not quite matter. We call it mana. Mana. To think that one short utterance could hold more gravity than the light used to lure fish out of the frigid sea at night. It actually has a really long, complicated name, but mana's good enough. But it'll still be less stable than actual matter, so we'll need something to act as a core. The Epithea. And a lot of air and Estelle's power to recombine the formula. Using my power without the control formula will unbalance the air. It'll just flood out again. But we can't just sit here and ignore that thing. And... Yeah? It's a bet I'm willing to take. I guess I should be the one trying to stop you, but... I'm game to get in on this bet, too. I... I'll wager a billion gold on that! The theory is correct. It'll be okay. I'll return this billion gold to you many times over. Oh, truly now? Yep. Come on, let's head to the Air Creme. I tell you, thinking of a converter for air, you're quite the thinker. That's our genius mage girl Rita. Yep, yep. Well, I had a hint to go off of. Come to think of it, you did say you'd investigated Zod, didn't you? Despite its amazing size, it wasn't running off of air. Even though it was a barrier blastia to protect the entire world. A barrier blastia? Oh yeah, they were protecting the world from the Autophagos! You mean to say it's been there for a millennium? It's as dogged as a philosophizing anemone. Same goes for the Autophagos. It's been clinging to that barrier for just as long. Alexei seemed to believe Zod was a weapon, but he couldn't have been more mistaken. But the runaway air was the cause for the Autophagos awakening, wasn't it? Ah, so that's why they would use a barrier running on power other than air. But then, what sort of power was it using? The Children of the Full Moon, perhaps? It was actually energy taken straight from them. Inside that giant core, it continued to power Zod as a virtually perpetual formula. Most likely, the energy was taken in exchange for their lives. The light of life was extinguished from the Children of the Full Moon. So that's what Miorso's legend meant. According to Duke, they did it of their own free will. They wanted to save the world. The love the children of the full moon bore for this world is what created the barrier. The power of love makes you want to cry. They sacrificed themselves for the world. The children of the full moon were protecting us the entire time. That monster's not gonna show up again, right? If it does, you'll beat it up for us just like the last time, right? You're mean. Okay, I'm ready. Estelle, come over here. Now, I'll release the control formula. Once I do that, the air crane will react to you and produce more air. I want you to recompose the air formula into a stable formula closer to mana. Uh, um, I don't understand. Yeah, okay. 
The water element is strong here, so imagine flowing water and let your body flow with the air. The theory behind materializing air is the same as performing magic. If Estelle can recompose the air into a state close to mana, then I should be able to guide the air into the Cyanocell. Can we do anything? No. Go take a nap or something. We'd freeze to death if we took a nap here. We're pretty handy, you know. We can cook or fish or anything you want. Just tell us what to do. I wouldn't say anything. We can use the conversion formula we found in Zaude. That was for substituting life for air. Your life! You can't do that! But if this fails, then we'll all be swallowed up by a flood of air. We'll be dead anyway, right? We're all risking our lives. Let us help. All right. I'll use your life energy to guide the air into the Cyanocell. If we do that, I think Estelle will understand the flow of the air without interference from me. All right, everyone. Let's do this. Sure. Okay. Why not? Ready, Estelle? Here we go. Everyone, come over here. Go ahead. Try and synchronize yourself with my formula. There, that's good. <sighs> collecting in the cyanocell. The formula's working. The force field is stable. It's gonna be okay! I never thought it would gain a will of its own. Nature's mysteries will forever transcend the limited scope of our imagination. Yeah, I'd have to agree with you on this one. Humans? What creature am I? Though no longer Bellius the Intellicaea, you have granted life to me. I ask that you give me a name. A being that controls the essence of a material. Maybe you're a spirit. And so my name shall be... The Splishy Splashy Watercolor Queen! An ancient word for the ruler of the waters. How about Undine? Undine. Henceforth, I shall be known as the Spirit Undine. Ah, I feel the power swell within me. Such is the benefit of the air which you saw fit to gather for me. 
It wasn't any cakewalk either. Receive this now as token of my thanks. Undini, we need to get the world's air under control. Please lend us your power. Very well. However, my powers alone will be insufficient. Huh? I control only the waters. You must gather those who rule the other elements as well. The elements of earth, water, wind, and fire. We need at least three more. We'll need help from the other ends of Lakea, won't we? I... There are very few in Lakea left. Pharaoh, Gusios... And Ba'ul! Not Ba'ul. He hasn't taken in enough air to create an apatheia. And on top of that, I won't allow it. Undine, do you have any ideas? The shining forest of Ariolumen and Relawis, the root of the world. Your friend Ba'u should know the location of these places. She disappeared! No, she is here. I feel her. It seems like the air Krenna has quieted down too, even though we're not controlling Estelle's power. Really? So, Undine is controlling Estelle's power? You mean Estelle is really free? Yes. Yes! That's great, Estelle. Well, things are sure taking a turn for the strange. Yeah, I never would have dreamed any of this would happen. But we finally see the light at the end. It's a pinprick, but as welcome as the rays of sun that pierce into the ocean's depths. Is Undine really here? Yes. I can't really explain it, but she is here. I can sense it. Perhaps she dwells within Estelle. Well, she was created through Estelle, so maybe the two are connected. Very interesting. Hey, save the research for later, okay? I know, I know. You don't have to... What, what was that just now? Isn't that where... It came from the direction of Zaude. No. Has Zaude stopped working? Uh oh. Do you think we might have done something to set this off? That is the true catastrophe. That thing does look like it could eat the whole world. What are we supposed to do about something like that? It's a touch too big to fillet with just my kitchen knife. Hey, Rita. Duke said the Autophagos was born from air. Huh? So if the spirits convert air into matter, could we do something about the Autophagos if we had enough spirits? I don't know. I just... I don't know. But I do think it's worth a try. Let's try it, Yuri. Then it's settled. Baul! Yes, I see. Thank you. The servants of the Atathagos are attacking the city, Nordopolica. I guess we can't ignore something like that. Let's go. Look! It's hanging on to the city! That 
black thing. That's what we saw in the sands of Kogor. That was Pharaoh's vision. This is real. Be careful. It looks like it's trying to eat the air of the shield. Is the Atafagos drawn to air? This thing looks pretty mean. It may be, but it's what we've caught on our line. We'll reel it right in. Come on. That was easy. I hope the town is alright. Let's go check it out. Hold your position. We're gonna stop them here. Things getting wild around here. Y you were... I guess I'm saved again. Seems that this was the only city to be attacked. What bad luck. This isn't about luck. Where were you, Rita? I went to check the barrier Blastia. Its power had been raised. And I guess the monsters were drawn to it. The power is returned to normal now. We thought raising the power would protect us, but it turned out to be the opposite. I'll go see the citizens. Feel free to rest here as long as you please. Thanks for the offer, but we still have business to do. We better get moving. You are all welcome at any time. Try stopping by when you have the time. Thanks. Nats was really working hard. Yeah, it looks like he's doing a good job leading since Belly has passed away. I'd like him to meet Undine. He'd be so happy. Not right now. Once everything's settled down, though, let's give him a nice surprise. Okay. That monster. Paul Australia was no match for it. I can't figure it out. So how did we take it out? Maybe there's something different about us. The spirits, perhaps? If the Autophagos really is close to air, then the spirits might actually affect it. So can we put up more of a fight if we get the other three? Who knows? The four elements alone could control air, but we're talking about the Atafagos. I just don't know. Yeah, and it's not like you can find Apatheia lying around just anywhere. There aren't many Entelikea left either. Hey, there are tons of Blasty all over the world, right? Yes, they're an indispensable part of our society. And cores are just pieces of Apatheia. So if the four spirits aren't enough, we can just change all the cores of the world into spirits too, right? Hmm, then we may end up with as many spirits as there are grains of sand. Are you nuts? How do you propose to do that? Even if we knew how, we'd still have to go to every single Blastia. I doubt the Atafagos would wait for us. I think that's your specialty, genius. Oh no, this is your genius plan. Even if Yuri's plan worked, all the Blastia would stop working, wouldn't they? Yeah, I guess so. All the cores would be gone. What would the world become? People would lose the safety promised by the barriers. All the functions that the Blastia maintained, gone. It'll be inconvenient, to say the least. Even Bodhi Blastia wouldn't work. <sighs> Who cares? Blastia or no Blastia, a single oar is all I need to cross the ocean. I admire your spirit, Patty. Well, isn't that all fine and dandy? There will be a lot of unhappy people, but we have to do it. Otherwise, the world will fall to the Atafagos, even if no one else ever understands why. Well, for now, let's just get the four elemental spirits. Aye, we'll cross those other bridges when we come to them. Baal knows where the other Entelikea are, right? Yeah, let's get back to the ship and ask him. The shining forest of Aria Lumen and the root of the world, Reloise. 
I've never heard of those places. If only we could glimpse them. Would make things far easier. <sighs> Baul says he knows. However... Hmm? He doesn't want to tell us. Apatheas only come from the death of Intelikea. He doesn't want to put his friends in danger. Baul, listen. We want to protect the world, but we don't want to sacrifice anyone for it. We won't just take the Apatheia by force. Baul, please. Tell us where the Entelikea are. Arialumen is in the northeast part of Tulpikia. Reloise is on the continent of Wakea. Thank you, Baul. We also need to go to the sands of Kogor, where Pharaoh is. Right. Northeast Tolbikia. I wonder if that's the place where a new land just recently crystallized. Wakea is that continent to the south of Ilikia, where the capital is, right? Wakea. The Emperor Calx III sent scouting parties four times in order to claim the land. But every time, they lost communication and no one ever returned. It's the last unexplored land on Terkalumeres. Why does it have to be a place like that? If Wake is that bad, then let's leave Reloise for last. He says he'll leave things up to you. Thanks, Baul. Let's go. We can't exactly dawdle forever. Pharaoh! He's hurt! Why is he flying? Any idiot could come along and take him out. He couldn't put up a fight like this. It's probably so humans won't get his apatheia. Human greed knows no bounds. Even the sky offers no sanctuary. Then there really isn't anywhere that's safe. Pharaoh! Hey! He's landing! It looks like he's... calling us. Let's go. Pharaoh? Pharaoh, come on! I'm sorry. It was all for us. What do you mean? Pharaoh was a decoy for us at Zaude. The fate of the world is set. We shall meet our end. Duty unfulfilled. How unfortunate. You give up pretty fast for someone who fought for so long. Sorry, but things aren't over yet. Zaude is lost. The Adephagos has returned. Neither humans nor we possess the power of old. What more can be done? There's still hope. There's a new power. We would like you to become a spirit. A being that can control air even more. But to do that, we need your apatheia. You ask me to hand over my life. <sighs> Your heart alone cannot save the world, but you must have the heart to save it. I am not long for this world. Do with me as you please. What if he doesn't help us when he becomes a spirit? Pharaoh loves the world. It'll be fine. Shall we? But the air crane here is all dried up. If I follow the flow of the air back, I should be able to pull it from within the world. Are you sure? 
Undine is telling me that. Okay. so different before and after becoming spirits. They have totally different points of view. It's like, imagine if a fish became a bird. This is better for them than being some sage, always worrying about the world. This looks like the center of the crystallization. It's beautiful. Like we're in a dream. It's air that crystallized at low density. Is this mana? I have to take a sample. This entire forest is a treasure. But it likely won't fit on the ship. Just how do they come up with such different reactions? They just shatter! You're so stupid. Nature didn't make this, you know. Huh? What do you mean? The center of a new land that just crystallized. Somewhere around here is the one who made that happen. And an air crane. Oh. What's up, Repeat? Find something? This is... Someone crushed these crystals, and it wasn't us. What curious fellow would venture all the way out here? Looks like someone got here before us. Watch out. Blades are currently patrolling the area. Leave it. What? Nan! These wounds are terrible. Come on, Nan! Carol, what are you doing alone? Where's the boss and Tyson? Master and the others went on. What? They left you behind? The boss is one thing, but I can't believe Tyson wouldn't take you. What happened? We wound up fighting our target here. I... I couldn't do anything. Just like always. Master said it's because I had doubts. Doubts? I hate monsters. They shouldn't be alive. I still feel that way. 
But now, at a time like this, hunting monsters isn't that important. There are other things we should be doing. When I told him that... They up and left you. Fools. With everything the way it is, how can they not take another look at their lives? That's terrible! I mean, Nan's right! Relax, Carol. Hey, the hunting blades are after Entelikea, right? We should hurry. Yeah. Nan, can you walk? Huh? Yeah, but it's too dangerous to be alone here. Come with us, Nan. Carol, okay. Gusios! That's Gusios? Back at Kerbokram. So the hunting blades have a history with them. So which one of them is our buckle? Which one is what now? Judith, wait! Something's wrong. <laughs> Master! Ugh. Why? Why won't anything hurt it? It's eating the air, but this is... Nan, it's too dangerous! Nan, what are you doing here? You don't know what you're doing! I told you, you'd just get in the way! Run! There's nothing you can do here! No, the guild is my family! I can't just leave you to die! Damn it! Nan! You! Gusios, calm down! Tell me what happened! What happened to him? It doesn't look like he's in the mood for talking. Even Intelikea cannot ingest limitless amounts of air. Those who ingest more than they can endure... change. And... No! Become out of Fagos themselves. What? So he got like this by trying to protect the world? Gusios. Save him. While he is still Gusios. Right. Okay. Guess this is how it has to be. I can't believe we have to... kill him. If there's no other way, then... then we'll do it. There's no way to save him if he becomes an autophagos. You're right. I can't keep doing this. this so much. Never play. Flickering blades burn. The blade. Just hope this saves him. It's all we can do. I'm sorry. What? He's gone. Now you want to hate this too? That's the soul of that monster. I've got to crush it. He's not a monster. They were trying to protect the world. This is something even a sea slug could understand with a bit of thought. I don't care what the Entelikea were for. You knew. All this time, you knew what the Entelikea were. You knew and you still hunted them? With the world like it is? Ten years ago, the Entelikea killed my family. 
And it's not just me. Most of the hunting blades have lost something important to monsters. No matter what happens to the world, my feelings for these things will never change. But you're wrong. What? No matter what you do, you can't bring anyone back. You aren't the only ones who lost loved ones in the war. But some try to be positive and keep living. You can't save anyone, yourself included, if all you do is lash out in hatred. Instead, you should treasure the ones who are still here. I think it's admirable to protect a city from monsters, but... Don't just be pig-headed about it. Do it when the world is, you know, okay. It's too late for me to change. Huh. If you're gonna get in our way, then we'll settle things here. Chief. <sighs> Please wait. Let me at least heal you. Get up, you maggots. We're withdrawing. Thank you. I wonder if he understood. Who knows? So let's make a spirit. I guess it worked. But he's not opening his eyes or moving or anything. His consciousness itself was nearly taken. He will not wake for a while. Now, give him a name. What's his element? A power rooted deep within the world. Earth itself. Earth? Hmm. The spreader of roots. Gnome. The spirit of Earth. Gnome. Let us tell him once he awakens. I can't believe Entelikea, who try to control air, wind up as Atafagos. <laughs> People can't understand anything except what they see with their own eyes. So after all that happened, turns out the worst thing in the world is people. Humans, we're our own worst enemy. Which means we have to work that much harder. Yeah, you're right. So this is Reloise? Yes, Baul says it is. But I don't see any air crane or Entelikea. Looks like we can take this path down. It's a long way down. Yes, it is. Now that is a sight to behold! Please be careful not to fall, Patty. Carol's the one you ought to be worrying about taking a tumble here. Th that's not true! Let's get going. Let's get going. Yes, yes, it looks like that's, that's all we, that's can, all do. we can do. Hey, why don't we just why ride Baloo all, all the way to the bottom? The bottom. No, no, it's narrow, it's narrow. and the wind is all over the place. It's a little too dangerous. This wind is fierce indeed. This place must be where all the gales are born. That means this valley is the mother of the wind. The mother of the wind, huh? I can see a river way down at the bottom! This is what happens when a river wears away at the earth for years and years. Ah, the power of nature. Who knows how long it took to make this? I get all dizzy when I look straight down. Idiot. <laughs> well, just make sure you don't slip and fall. Come on, lad! Heave ho! Just keep going! 
Hey! Hang on! This kind of stuff gets to us, old folks. Come on, old man. Yeah, you're gonna have to climb back up when we're done. He's dead. Someone's coming! Person? Here? You. Duke. Appearing out of nowhere as usual. Many thanks for rescuing Yuri. Why are you the one thanking him? What are you doing here? We heard there was an Antilochea here. We came to ask it to become a spirit. A spirit? A being that comes from reincarnating an Antilochea through an Apatheia. We might be able to solve the air problem completely with the spirit's power. By converting air into mana. I see. That's why. Duke? Reincarnation. Converting air. You are trying to remake the world itself. All to solve a problem that humans themselves brought about. Such arrogance. But if we don't fix the air problem, the Autophagos will destroy the world. Bellius understood. She became Undine and is lending us her power. Pharaoh as well. He was reborn as a Freet. The proper form of Terka Lumeres is one in which all living things, including Entelikea, live in their natural state. You understand that as well. But what about Gusios? He was trying to control the air! But then he took too much and became really dangerous! Yeah. I don't want to think what would have happened if we hadn't reincarnated him as Gnome. Indeed! Humans in Entelikea can find a way to coexist by pushing these boundaries. Even so, I do not accept it. I will protect this world. You said that before. So just how do you plan to protect the world? I will not interfere with you, so do not interfere with me. Ahead lies one of the oldest springs in the world. Pay it due respect. So you won't answer the main question? Hmm. Farewell. I doubt we shall meet again. Uh, hey! He's gone! Such a warm and fun-loving little fellow. I wonder what he's trying to do. I don't know, but I have a bad feeling about it. Let me go ask him. Not a soul alive would refuse to answer a beautiful laugh. Patty, darling, you just don't have the good graces for an approach like that to work. Rita, is something wrong? Well, I bet with his sword, with Dane Nomos, we could focus the spirit's energy on the Autophagos. Should we chase him down and ask him to lend it to us? Yeah, I don't think he's in much of a giving mood right now. Me neither. Well, whatever we do... We have to get all the spirits first. Let's focus on that for now. Wow! So this is the oldest spring in the world. It's so quiet. The air is so clear. It feels holy. Never would have thought a place like this was at the bottom of the mountain. I feel so... at ease. This isn't really a good time to kick back and relax, but... It is so peaceful. Watch it! That's air, not water. It's really dense. You shouldn't go near it. You came. Hey, that's... you at the castle, didn't we? Chroma, was it? It doesn't look like you're trying to avenge Alexei. Duke didn't listen to you, did he? He's trying to protect the world in his own way. So what is Duke trying to do? He's trying to exchange the lives of humans to protect the world. What? Why would Duke do something like that? He doesn't trust humans. 
But Duke helped us! He even lent us his beloved blade! I assume he saw some of himself in you. Or perhaps he thought he wouldn't have to get his hands dirty as long as you were around. What are you... Why are you telling us about Duke? I think it's time you showed who you really are, Antilochea. Huh? What do you want? Is this just a roundabout way of saying you're not going to help? I too cannot trust humans, but neither do I want to see him take revenge on his own kind. If you can truly save the world, then I will not refuse to help. However, you have chosen a different path. You will likely confront each other. Yeah, maybe. If he is beyond your power, then nothing in this world can stop him. I will test your strength! Here she comes! If you cannot defeat me, then there's no point in facing Duke. Fine. We will test our strength. Guess that's what we get for taking on an Antilochea. Come on, guys. Stay sharp. I'm not finished with you yet. We'll keep playing with you till you die. This is my wager. Will you win or will I? Nothing more than that. Come. We might look weak, but fate is on our side. That didn't work. That didn't work. That didn't work. It was a marvelous battle. You were watching over everything. Leave the rest to us. Marvelous. Perhaps you all can, indeed, save the world. Chroma. Do as you wish. Estelle, come on. Judith? Right. Do it. She's sleeping. It's the same as with Gnome. A new comrade has been born. One who controls the winds. At times calm, at times violent. She is not taken by air as was Gnome. She should wake before long. Thank you, Undine. Chroma did say she wanted us to stop Duke. It seemed like Chroma knew a lot about Duke. Indeed. Maybe we can ask her more when she's awake. Let's head back for now. Right. We don't have time to just hang around here. Oh, not that path again. These old bones of mine are tired. <sighs> Finally. Halfway up. If the air were a little more stable, I could get Baul down here. My consciousness. This is what it means to become a spirit. Oh, to think of all the things that were hidden from me. Good morning, lass. Guess she's awake. Um... So, would you still prefer to be called Chroma? No. 
I am no longer the Antilochea known as Chroma. You should give me a new name. Well... How about Sylph? It means the Binder of Winds. Sylph. Very well. That shall be my name. Okay, Sylph. Nice to meet you. Again. A pleasure to meet you, too. Sylph. Would you tell us why Duke hates humans? Very well. You know about the Great War, right? There were Intelikea who chose to live with humans, and those who chose to oppose them. The Great War was between humans who broke an ancient prohibition and the Intelikea who opposed them. And the war ended when the hero Duke won victory for the humans. Duke's a hero? Really? That's one of the truths the Empire's hiding. They glossed over it by spreading convenient little lies. It was simple but efficient. Patty? Humans alone could not have won that war. Elucifer, the leader of the Antilochea advocating living with humans, fought alongside them and granted them victory. Are you serious? Even I never heard that. But what does this have to do with Duke not trusting humans? Elucifer was Duke's friend. Duke fought with Elucifer against the leader of the ones who opposed humans, and defeated him. However, once the war ended, the Empire feared Elucifer's power. They assaulted the injured Elucifer and took his life. He had promised Duke that he would merely watch, but it didn't matter. No. Now I get it. Anyone would stop trusting humans after that. I had no idea that was going on during the war. It must have been so hard on Duke. But it doesn't matter how badly he was betrayed. He has no right to sacrifice every human life. If you do not destroy the Artifagos before Duke, in the end, humanity will be destroyed. Hurry. I have calmed the winds. I believe Ba'ul can reach you now. Thank you, Sylph. So the spirits are working out all right, but... Duke isn't. Yeah. We managed to get the four elemental spirits! Yeah. Now. We have to convert the world's Blastia cores to spirits. Right. If we could control the Artifagos with just those four, then we wouldn't need the others. That thing is not exactly something you want to take on lightly. We better make damn sure we're set. There's no second chance. I know, I know. Just by creating the spirits, we've already changed Terkalumarais. Even if it is to save the world. We've been making these decisions all on our own. Now we're changing the lives of everyone in the world. That can't be just our decision. Yeah, you're right. If we can't get them to understand what we're trying to do, we're just as bad as Alexei, but we don't have time. But we can still talk to the Imperial Knights and the Guilds, right? But if they don't approve of how we're doing things, we will become the Great Evil. I can't stand by and watch the world be destroyed. Even if Duke manages to save the world his way, it doesn't mean anything if there's no one left to live in it. So I don't care if people call me evil. I will give up the Blastia to defeat the Autophagos. What are you going to do? If you want to get off, now's the time. I'm going. My life belongs to brave Vesperia anyway. Me too. Pharaoh and Bellius left it to us. And I don't like leaving things half finished. I know what it feels like to regret what you didn't do. If I stop now, I'll really regret it. Yeah, me too. I don't want to feel like that. No matter what path I choose, I can take whatever happens. I've learned that on this journey. And the people of the world will understand. They're strong enough to take a changing world. Yeah. We do this today so we can laugh tomorrow. That's what I believe. What are you gonna do, Patty? It's obvious, isn't it? I'm coming too. All right, everyone. Together until the end. So let's get ready and then go talk to His Majesty Yoder and the people in the Union. 
So what exactly do you need to get ready? Leave it to me. I want to stop by a city somewhere. I need to pick up some stuff. How about Port Nor? It's at the edge of Elikia. I want to find out what's happened at Emid Hill since the road was blocked too. Let's go. Is Baul doing all right? Sure he's not getting too tired? No, he's fine. But he's uneasy. What's wrong? The apatheia within him isn't enough to undergo spirit conversion yet. But he knows that someday, he will need to give up his current form and become a spirit. Well, humans are all going to die sometime, but we don't spend every day worrying about it. I imagine some people do. Are you saying Baul is that weak? He's far more delicate than you, Yuri. Dying, in his case, isn't exactly death like we normally think of it though, right? But it does mean that his consciousness will disappear and be replaced by something new. So it's basically a fear of the unknown. That part of it is actually not too different from us. The other and Delakea have accepted that they must become spirits. They feel it is their duty to maintain the stability of this planet. Baul's got a mission of his own though, doesn't he? I mean, what about his commitment to destroy all of the Hermes Blastia? The determination necessary for destroying Blastia and becoming a spirit are very different. Baul still lacks the resolve to give up his identity as an Entelechea. I think lacking it is a lot healthier if you ask me. And I certainly understand. He seems pleased that you understand him. Still, I worry about him going on like this. Do you want him to become a spirit, Judy? No, not in the least. But I wonder what the Intelikea, what the spirits themselves must think. What's going on? I'm not sure. Baul and the spirits are communicating. Or something like that, but without using their voices. Yes. What happened? He says we shouldn't worry about him. But what was all that? Hmm. The spirit said something to calm him down. Maybe they told him how easy they've got it. Yeah, probably. At any rate, it's impossible for him to become a spirit now. We're going to have to go on depending on you until the journey's over, Baul. He wants you to know you can count on him. 